Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Trail Makers. Now last time we created a sonic boom without even moving. Very very impressive in my own opinion. So this is what our creation looks like and basically it's a platform on the floor and then some arms that have low drag with loads of engines on the end and essentially if you jump in and turn the rockets on this just spins and it gets faster and faster and look we've we've got a sonic boom it's going very fast but there there was a sonic boom there because bottom left we're just shy of 1000 miles an hour now uh, without spinning everyone out i will i will actually hold the right click so we don't go mental can you see we've got some movement? So I tried to build a big platform on the ground, hoping to like stabilize this. And then you guys in the comments, you just came along like, Matt, why didn't you just anchor it to the floor? Apparently you can anchor stuff to the floor, what? So back in the build menu, I want to, I really want to test this out first. So down in gadgets over at the end, we have an anchor pin creates an unbreakable connection between vehicle and whatever it touches. Okay, so if I were to, for example, delete all that, delete all that, and basically just end up with this and wang an anchor underneath i mean just one anchor is that fine do i not need four? Oh wow it's literally okay <laughs> i could have done it that way i could have done it oh oh i went so fast i like imploded somehow what well anyway that's all irrelevant because today i wanted to try and use this new anchor technique to try and make a catapult and not just any old catapult i want to try and make a supersonic catapult. I want to fling something at the speed of sound. Now, I had this idea before, but I sort of knew that it wouldn't work. But essentially, I sort of just want to take everything I have and like rotate it that way. And then I'm going to move everything up so it's no longer in the ground. So then we have a very tall thing. And what I'm sort of thinking, hopefully I can just like or sort of make a windmill. So if we delete that anchor pin, and then build the world's sketchiest bit of scaffolding. And hopefully I can just shove an anchor pin under that. And then we're done. Maybe, sort of. Yep, there it is. Um, annoyingly, the cockpit end is the other end. So I'm probably just going to have to float up. Thankfully, I do have this weird jetpack thing, so I can get to the top. All right, and then we'll just... Oh my goodness, it's wobbly. It's wobbly. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, it's come off. It's come off. Oh dear. Okay, well, that was pretty successful. I mean, at least we know it works on its side and we sort of know the anchor pins work as well. So I tell you what, let's start fresh because I got some, I got some things I need to figure out. Like if this is going to be a catapult, I need to, I need to work out how to fling things. And I have a feeling that might include this area, logic blocks, because potentially we could, we could use a spell speed sensor and then when that hits a certain speed it would let go of stuff because in mechanical there is this a detachable block yeah, but again i'm probably getting ahead of myself so i think to start off i am literally just gonna build like a very very small ish catapult so let's grab a block like that that seems good we'll lower it down quite a bit and we'll shove two anchors underneath it or maybe four one in each corner i think that makes sense so that should be relatively good at staying where it is then i'm just gonna build an arm up a little bit and then we'll grab the spinning servo from last time and shove that on its side so we'll just give that a cheeky rotate and wang it there now someone also said in the comments if i grab this and i go into configure i can make the spin speed zero oh no yeah zero and apparently if the speed is zero it will spin like freely so if we then grab some blocks and just shove these all about the place so i've done five down and i'll do five up as well so that is perfectly symmetrical then we just need a cockpit and some engines so for the cockpit we'll grab the aerodynamic one which weighs 25 kilograms and we'll shove that underneath this sort of <laughs> this looks like a really dodgy ride and then to keep it balanced i am i am gonna i am gonna counterweight it the same on the other end so we literally got one on the top as well so that is perfectly balanced as spiff would say perfectly balanced ladies and gentlemen anyway then we'll add the dragon jets and i'm gonna add one there and one up the top so then we got that so hopefully if we get in this and then we just press play we should start spinning nice <laughs> 127 mile an hour. If I let go, oh my goodness. Ow, my eyes, my eyes. So right, next up, I want to try the detachy thing. So in the mechanic tab, we have detachable block. So that looks like that. So I assume we've got to, we've got to grab that and shove it somewhere. If I turn on aerodynamics, that has an aerodynamic effect. Not ideal, but okay, whatever. So let's replace that block 
with this. Right, so on the top we have that. We have our engine poking out the side. Uh, basically because I wanted this engine to be stuck to the bottom and not the top. So all that's holding our cockpit on is this detachable block, which I can configure to be any button I want. It's not going to be space because that's what I used to go forwards. We're going to change that to P. Why not? Then we can see the detachable block weighs 1.6 kilos. So if I want to keep this balanced, I want to swap that block out. Wang this engine at this end to the same place as the one above. And since 1.6 is a really random weight, I am literally just going to shove another detachable block in and then just turn it off. So it will clear the button input. So that one should just stay attached. So we need to make sure we jump in at the top cockpit. So let's hover up. And then hopefully we're in the right one. Is that us up there? Yeah, that's us up there. <laughs> I feel like we're in like a horrible roller coaster ride. Um, so if we just give it a bit of momentum, I don't want to go too fast. But then at the right time, huh, yes, we flung ourselves. Okay, so that's good. And I think that's going to be the sort of basis of our thing. Now I just need to try and get this to do things on its own automatically. And I'm wondering if I can use some logic to help me with that. So something that we could use is the angle sensor as well as the altitude sensor. I mean, and even the speed sensor, really. The question is, how the hell do you actually use these? Like, I assume I can use it to trigger something like that, right? All right, so first off, let's just work out how tall this thing is. So one, add four blocks, add another four blocks. So 17 plus two, so 19, 21. So that is 25. So if we configure that altitude to 25 then that will give an output so i probably want to shove that like down the bottom so there and then do i just need like a chain of these that will pass the command I'm not sure but if we flip this round we know once the bottom of it gets to the top oh, wait what's that number 106 is this test center not at sea level okay that's telling us the altitude at that point Point. Okay. Now, annoyingly, it didn't look like it was passing any signal through. So what if we rotate it to do that and then change the altitude to 106? So now it's 102. You can see the arrow is not turned on. If we just very gently turn it around, when it gets to 106, which is now... A green light has come on, but it hasn't gone through the other bits. Okay, so it's triggering a one output. So what do these have? Output if all input is not zero. Actually, I may have worked out. I may have worked out. Let's just, let's delete all of these. I think this might be wireless logic technology, uh, which essentially means if I click on this altitude sensor, I go to configure. Can you see there's like, there's little things. I think that's what it triggers. So if I come to the top and I trigger the detachable block, perhaps when that gives a signal, that detachable block will go. If so, I'm technically a genius. So when this flips around, is it going to let go? Yes, it did. Okay, okay, okay. So if I now, if I add a different block, so I think I want, is there an and one? Because I think to link these, they don't have to be touching now. So I can literally say, yeah, that's an and logic gate. If we have that one there, we also want a, a speed sensor. I guess we could set that up to like, I don't know, 50 kilometers an hour. Wait, 50 kilometers an hour? I thought I was in Imperial. Don't know. But anyway, we can say once this hits 50, you can trigger that. And then this one as well, once you hit your altitude of not 105, I probably want 106. So that triggers that. So I think if both of those hit, then we should get a signal. So let's see what happens. All right. So if you look at the altitude sensor, when that hits 106, that gives a signal to the other one. But there's no signal coming out the end because it also requires a speed. So if we go fast and it's so fast, that I can't see. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> let's turn the speed down to five kilometers an hour. And it looks like there's like a speed bar on it, but that's not actually filling up. I wonder if orientation matters. So if I do it like that way, will that make a difference? Yes, yes. Right, so if you watch this slowly, you can see we're going over five kilometers. So the one on the cockpit is always green at the moment. And then the altitude one, when it gets to 105, that goes green. Okay, so now if we head back into the logic thing, if we say this one here, the one that turns completely green if both two things are met, we can configure that and we can tell that to trigger the, the detachy thing. And then the speed sensor, if we wang that up to... Why is it in kilometers an hour? 
Do I actually have to do the maths or is that just a typo? I don't know. Let's wang it on 100. Jump in the top and then I think if we just wang it, we should go flying. Oh, we did, but we went flying to the floor. Now, this is where I think we need the angle one as well because the trouble with the speed one, like we want to let go about there, 45 degrees. So we go flying upwards at 45 degrees. However, if it happens there, it will just fling us into the ground. Oh, and actually, I've just realized I've set this up the wrong way around. I'm, I'm detaching the wrong one. So because my altitude meter is on this end i want to be i want to be launching this one not that one i mean i guess the simple thing to do is just move the altitude sensor up to there all right so now let's see if we have a bit more luck oh that was good oh look how far we went that's actually pretty decent i'm well impressed with that all right let's go again and see if it was just a fluke no, it does fling us. Oh, this is actually really good. Okay, so we've got everything set up. We've just got to get the speed now. Now, we know there's a couple of things we can do. I should probably replace all these horrible blocks with their aerodynamics with the, the blocks that don't have any aerodynamics. So basically, we want these flat connectors, one by fours, as we found out last time. All right, so let's just try this for now. I basically just replaced a few blocks with those. So, yep, all spins fine. Although, slight concern, when I respawn... Why, why does it start spinning? What the heck? Why? No. Oh, it's because we're missing a cockpit on the top. Why, where did that cockpit go? Oh, no. Game is not liking this now. Why aren't you liking this suddenly, game? Oh, what if I move it down into the ground? Will that, like, will that help? Yes. Okay, that helped. Nice. Let's jump back in. So now it doesn't spin. What? No, something's gone wrong. Something's gone very wrong. Thankfully, in this game, you can reload to a previous save. So let's go back to when it did work, which I imagine is that one. All right, nice. Okay. So we're we're stable. I've set my my disconnector up to 500 kilometers an hour, which I, I'm going to guess is just miles per hour. So let's try and get this thing faster. So first things to do is I think some aerodynamics in terms of getting some of these wedge blocks in. So if we go for a four by four wedge, let's just rotate it so it looks a bit better. So we've got that which should sort of slice through the air like an axe. I'm going to move this speed measurer to behind it, probably there. I'm going to move the engine to the back of it. All right, then I'm going to hide this and piece. Where am I going to hide this, actually? Maybe just around the back there. I mean, actually, I could delete that block and use the and piece in there. Yeah, okay, that looks good. Okay, next up, I'm going to just do that to there. So now we've got a bit of a blade. I'm then going to copy all of these onto the other side and try and basically just mirror that, but with my other pieces. All right, so the only sort of downside is we do have a gap there with red so it might be worth moving this point down and then left because uh, then it's not connected if it's there you can see they're connected at those two things so if i do that and then move that forward once no actually that doesn't that doesn't cover it up does it not unless i move all of these forward okay that could work i think that's actually fine i'll do the same down the bottom actually just to get rid of that gap all right so let's see have we made that any quicker with aerodynamics yes it weighs a lot more now but we'll have to see see if it is actually better i was gonna say 127 to beat it looks like we're still going 127 okay what if we also try adding aerodynamics to the back okay so what about that that's like <laughs> that's like a proper blade okay, let's give this a spin can we beat 127 no it's like we're capped perhaps we need more power and also one other thing i do actually want to try before i get too far someone said if i stack these spinning servos that does actually increase your speed as well because basically they're capped at a certain limit let's see if i were to move that back twice and just add another one there will that make us go faster i'm not convinced it does look quite cool though so let's give it a bash was the commenter telling the truth no one two seven okay so just to reduce the number of parts and things i am going to move everything back yeah, and then I'm going to add another couple of engines. So let's bong one there and another one there. Sorted. So I've doubled the power. So now when we go, how fast are we going? Oh, 127 again. Okay, then. Well, let's increase our moment by making everything a little bit taller. Move this down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we can make the arm bigger so it allows a taller thing. And then... Basically, I'm just going to move all of that down by one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then copy those blocks down twice. Nice. So that's longer. We'll do the same on the top. And then that should be all symmetrical. That should be ready to go. So we'll turn these on and the speed. Oh, look, it's going up 215. Not bad. 
I do really want to try and get those those flat connectors to work. I wonder if it's because I need like two arms to make it more stable. So what if we do like that? All right, so how is this going to work? I've got I've got the flat connectors in. Let's let's see what happens, I guess. Oh, it's stable. It is stable. That is that's a good sign. Is it faster? That is the question. It is way slower. 204 miles an hour. Uh, it might have been because there was some extra red aerodynamics down this end. Like if you look on the back of this, we've got straight edges there. So let's just grab those. So that's a lot more green in the aerodynamics department. 204. No, I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Anyway, back to this design. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it spawn in the ground, I think. Yeah, and I'm gonna try adding a few more engines because we, we've literally got some space back here so third engine on top third engine on the bottom let's go one more time oh what the hell 215 are we at a limit here surely not i tell you what let's let's quit this because there's <laughs> like all my last saves they're all sort of like scattered about everywhere so let's just quit the game let's reload on a fresh map lovely all right so i've gone back to this thing which um yeah that bottom servo isn't having the best of times this is probably gonna end in tears but let's get inside yeah this is back to what we remember fast speed so that's 500 miles an hour so i've just made the arms a little bit longer let's see can we get back up to where we were before all right almost a sonic boom but then it started hitting the ground i think that should should actually be fine. Although, what the hell is going on in the middle? Those physics look a little bit wonky to me, game. And one thing I did want to try, actually, is the wonkiness because of how I've attached the middle. Can you see I've done, like, diagonal? I think last video, I actually did these opposite each other. So if I grab all of that and move it right like that, does that work better or is it the same problem? It appears it's pretty much the same. It technically was worse okay right so first things first i i literally just want to take this and bung it on its side like we did at the start i i probably want to build something a bit more structurally sound than i did previously so i'm going to use these four by eight blocks i think and then with a big sort of lump on the bottom hopefully i can just add some anchors so one in each corner and here we go okay we'll jump in here and then we'll give this a spin. Oh, and it sort of went fine. And then it went very not fine. That got up to nearly 700 miles an hour. I'm wondering if I move this pillar back a bit. I feel like things got a bit bendy for a second. So if we just rotate these servos. Is that any better? Oh, that doesn't look better. That does not look better at all. Oh, they're all going mental. That could be the problem then, actually. Perhaps it's worth doing one on, like, the other side. Because if we get this going, is it going to go mental? Oh, God. <laughs> See you later. Yeah, so I'm thinking we grab all of this, we copy it to this side, and like maybe we just want to do this sort of thing. And I might actually delete some of these servos from this side as well. I think just one is probably best. Right, so let's see how this holds up. Hopefully it's a bit more stable. Looking good so far. I'm a bit worried we don't have enough headroom though. Let's get in and give it a spin. That's looking fairly good actually. Actually really good. Really, really good. Oh, 730 miles an hour. So I'll make this a little bit bigger. Make these arms a little bit longer. And then let's see. It doesn't even fit on screen anymore. Let's see. Can we get the sonic boom on this? If so, we should be ready to convert it into a catapult. Yes. Okay, we got 900 miles an hour. That is good. That camera view is not good, though. All right, let it slow down. I can't rebuild. It thinks we're in the air. There we go. Right, we're good. So this should be a simple case of just logicking this up. So we want the and logic gate. So that can go there. We want the speed logic gate. So that can go in there. And then for the speed, we want this to be... I'm not sure why it's kilometers still. I'm going to put it as 800 and then we'll see if that works. And we want that to go to the and thing. So that's that sorted. Next up, we want the altitude sensor. I probably want that on the other one. I think that's the one I'm going to fling. So we'll bung that there and we've got to, we've got to measure how tall that is actually. So if we head up to the top, I think it was 140. It was on my screen for like a second. So ideally, I want it at 45 degrees. So altitude 135 five meters and then we want that to ping the the and logic gate so yes we'll tick that and then up the top here we've just got to add in our disconnector block so detachable block it only connects at the start and end don't really know how i'm going to connect this at all if i'm honest i might have to move an engine out the way all right so that's everything connected so basically on this block everything to the right so that is connected down to there everything to the left so this is connected to the top. Uh, the downside is if I turn on 
aerodynamics now. You can see not ideal. We've got some yellow and dark green aerodynamics in there. I think I can use some aerodynamic wedges to get in there. So that's fixed that. I think if I do a four by one block and put that in there, but not that direction. Because can you see I've I've linked either side of this detachable block. So that's got to be rotated like upwards. That'll be fine. All right. So now we've got that in. I think that's pretty much everything done. And there's been no detriment to the aerodynamics. So let's have a bash at this and see how it gets on. So the aim is not that to happen. <laughs> All right, why the hell did that implode? Wait, where's the end of it? Where's the end of it? I've lost the end. All right, that looks a lot more stable. Not. Is there an earthquake or something? I'm not sure what's going on. Anyway, we're in. Oh, it just implodes. It implodes like anything. What is it? What the? What just happened? All right, I think it's because it's not symmetrical. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to grab this top bit because we added all of that stuff. We're going to have to copy that down. All right, so that's copied down here. We've just got to replace some of these with the other things. So that's the altitude sensor. We don't need that down the bottom. We do want the and logic gate though. And then I think I can just replace that block there with the speed sensor. So perhaps now this will work. Oh, it's actually, it's not moving everywhere. I think that's because it's symmetrical. Um, that didn't, that didn't quite go to plan. As soon as I pressed the rockets, it, it exploded. Oh, I know why. The detachable block is still set to space. Oh, I'm an idiot. I, I bet that's all that's going, gone wrong the entire time. So detachable block, we got to set that to not be space. Same with the one up here. No, don't be space. All right, now are we going to have some more luck, please? Oh, yes. Yes. 700, 800. We got a sonic boom, but it didn't let go. Let's just double check everything. So that's the altitude sensor, 135. That goes to the and logic gate. Okay, that's right. Speed sensor, 800. That goes to the and logic gate. Okay, that's right. And logic gate. That goes to the detachable block. That wasn't turned on. Okay, so this could actually be the, the first ever supersonic catapult. Are you guys ready? Fire! Ready? 800? What happened? I think it may have been going too fast to detach. Or it could be that the detaching is just a bit too complex. Like it's sort of in, it's a bit of a mess, isn't it really? Okay, let's make it simple. Let's make it simple. Let's just get rid of that block and let's just do that. It's not great, but it provides a much cleaner breakaway. So I guess, I guess we'll go for that. So I'm going to literally copy all of that down here as well because we want this to be as symmetrical as possible. Right, so let's try this now. Come on, game. We're going to be a lot slower is the only thing because we got a lot more aerodynamics. Is, did that work? Or did that just break? I'm not sure if that worked. All right, that was aerodynamically hideous. So what if we try, if I move that back like that, I should be able to stagger some super aerodynamic wedges. So one wedge there, I'm going to do one next to it. And then we're going to step back and connect down. That's just so the top and the bottom isn't connected, but it is all aerodynamically sound. Now I'm actually going to copy this over that way as well. So front and back, very aerodynamic. Nice. Let's go down and do the same to down the bottom. All right. So now let's try this. <laughs> I'm, I'm not convinced we're going to get there anymore, if I'm honest. I was very confident at the start, although 500, 600 miles an hour, 750. We got the sonic boom. If we can get to 800, it'll let go. Come on. Yes. Oh, so it sort of let go. I just don't know where the piece ended up. I can only imagine it went absolutely flying. All right, so 800. Oh, it did go flying. Look at it in the distance. So you can see one end has gone. And I think what's happening is I'm getting in the wrong end. So let's just re refresh that. Jump out. I've got to get in the top end because that's the one that goes flying. Ow, I hit my head. So now I'm in the right end. Hopefully we'll get to 800 miles an hour and then we'll go flying. So there's the sonic boom. We're still picking up speed. There we go. Yes. Yes, it worked. <laughs> Yes! A supersonic catapult. Right, I'm calling that a win, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. For now, I'll say peace, love, and supersonic catapults. Yes! Bye, guys.